It's not normally over there, is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I get way away from me. Come on, you gotta scoop me. I ain't gonna do nothing. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Jared and Marquita. Jared, Marquita. What's good? What's good? Um, glad you guys, glad we were able to come on again yeah. uh, this week. Um, it's been a busy uh, week, a busy day. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, of course, you know what I mean? Uh, we get our energy back when it's time to uh, do uh, go live with uh, these conversations. Mm -hmm. So today we're talking about when compliments uh, from outside of the relationship have crossed the line. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. we'll wait for a few people to get in. What's up, Patricia? Hey. Who else is on? Oh, you doing, you doing your thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, y'all um, y'all speak as you come in so we know that, that you're there. I'm so used to the camera being over this side. Really? So my high key going over that way. Yeah. Rakia, what's up, Rakia? Hey, Natasha. Hey, how are you? Hey, Tasha, tell uh, Isaac uh, we said what's up. Yes. All right, so those of you all who are coming in, does uh, um, does this topic spike interest um, when compliments from outside of the relationship have crossed the line? So, Marquita, whenever we get, whenever we get started, I'm, I'm going to let you uh, give us... Um, the uh the basis for where we're going with this but okay. let me say this now if if you're watching us now on youtube pause for a second and hit the red bell to subscribe subscribe to us um now uh it, it helps for you to see these um uh videos uh more and um to know whenever we're um, dropping a video so subscribe right now subscribe right now um, if you're watching us from facebook go ahead and share 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 it to get some other people um involved in the conversation so rakia was like yeah oh yeah so uh, mm. this is a conversation for her what's up cedric hey cedric grace and peace grace and peace <laughs> <laughs> what up erica yo hey, all right jocelyn oh jocelyn is on what's yeah. up jocelyn and kevin, and kevin what's up <laughs> All right, so again, the as you guys are coming in, the conversation is about um, when compliments from outside of the relationship um, have crossed the line. Mm -hmm. um, so, are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so give me all of that. Give all of us all of that that you were giving me um, earlier. Earlier. So, um, basically, um, Dry and I were uh, discussing this topic. Um, hey, Trey and Richard. <laughs> What up, family? So we were discussing this topic about compliments. Um, and my husband put a post uh, earlier about compliments, being, you know, inside of the relationship, how they can go a long way. And they can because they can give you that confident boost that you need or that you didn't even know you need. Um, <clears throat> it, it's just, it's, it's a form of flirting. It can be a form of flirting. Compliments? Yeah. You know, from inside the relationship. Okay. It can be a form of flirting, in my opinion. And it also, like I said, can give you that confidence boost uh, that you know you need or you, or you didn't know you need. Um, but when it comes from outside of the relationship, there there's a, a invisible boundary line that is there um, because it can teeter totter. It depends on who it's coming from, the tone and tenor that it comes from, the you know the manner that it was said in, what was happening when the compliment was given, all of that. Tasha said, "Don't bite her." Ah, girl, you see her? <laughs> <laughs> it's this mint, this mint, and this chocolate, this ah! mint, and all this honey. You, you're not chocolate, right? No, I'm honey brown. This mint and this honey, it's it's calling me in. Stop the foolishness. Uh. Hi. 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 Uh, what's up, Ken? Hi, Hi. Well, Stacy. Stacy. What up, Stacy? Somebody else just came in. Yeah, that's my god sister, mommy. Pamela, what up? All right, yes. so go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. So, yeah. Tasha in, threw me off. <laughs> in regards to compliments from outside of the marriage, I said, I stated before that, I mean, it's a lot that comes with that. It depends on who said it, you know, the, the undertone, what's, what's, what's the meaning behind it, what was the motive 
um, the tone and tenor that it was said in, you know, and what, what is actually being said. Uh, sometimes it can cross the line. And what versus, did you say to me in the car? I don't remember. Cause you were, cause, cause this grabbed About your the attention. Validation? Yeah, but this something, uh, but you read or something grabbed your attention, which, which caused you to, uh, uh, want to do this. I think it's about validation as well. Something. Go ahead. Yeah, let me let me um get that cuz that was uh that was very good when I what I read. Here it is. Um it said people that seek outside validation can't understand a person that gets it from the inside. Say it again. People that seek outside validation, they can't understand a person that gets the validation from the inside. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so let me ask them. What what is what did you got? So let me ask you. Mm -hmm. What I'm asking Marquita, I want y'all to type in. Okay. What is your take on your partner getting outside compliments? And what is your take on you getting outside compliments? Um, my take on my husband getting outside compliments. It doesn't bother me um to an extent. What's the extent? Who is coming from? Like, if it's a person I know that, if, you know, trying me, then, 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 then I have an issue with that person because now you're just trying to get under my skin. But um, for the most part, it doesn't bother me because I mean, you're a good-looking man, and I think I mean, we we're, we're human beings. We're gonna live this life, and so you're not, you know, bound to the house. You, you're able to go out and look good, smell good. I, I think it's good. I mean, that's that's kudos to me, in my opinion. All right. Your compliments, man, yeah, I do got a good one. So do you, so, fine. so do you require, not require, but do you rather me share when I get compliments? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, it don't, it's, it's, it's neither or there. It doesn't matter if you share it or you, it don't matter to me. Okay. I mean, it makes for good conversation when you do share. So how about my response to compliments? A simple thank you is nice. So is there a boundary there? Yeah, because some some people can see that as flirting. You know, if you thank you, and then they actually feel as if they reeled you in to let's have a conversation and let's talk about this compliment that I just gave you. You know that can. That's where you know a bound that invisible invisible boundary line comes into play. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go ask so you about. I didn't finish answering the second question. Go I ahead. What you? What was it? Compliments me? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna compliments? say I was gonna go to you. Yeah. Um. What? Well, say it again, child. I'm sorry. So yeah, my head is hurt. Your, I'm trying to. You still hurt? Yeah, I'm trying to push past it. Um. What's your uh, take on you getting compliments from the outside? My take on me getting compliments is pretty much the same. I don't mind it. Um, of course, we know we can't control people and, how, and the stuff oh, that comes out their Oh, now when you get compliments, you can't control what people say. I can't control what people say when you get compliments either. But I'm speaking from my experience. Can't mm -hmm. control what people say and do out of, their, out of their mouths. However, I can control my response. And, I mean, like I said, depending on who it's coming from, the tone and tenor, some people, you know, they bark and yell and say stuff, compliment you all day long, or just say stuff, you know, out of the blue when you walk in and say, you know, people just, what is it called, cat calls and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so, I ignore so getting, all that. you getting compliments all day long? I'm just saying in general, dog. People hush. cat calling you all day long? No. But when that happens... I I ignore all of that kind of stuff. But if somebody's actually giving me a genuine compliment on my phys physique or my my features or whatever, my hair, my my smile, whatever, I just say thank you. And so I keep is going. it? So is 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 it uh, crossed the line when it's not just your attire or? Um, yeah. Is it when it's like you said your physique? Mm -hmm. Is that crossed the line? Yeah, because some people. Yeah, I, well, I won't say yeah. I say it depends on what they say. Cause some people like some people can say, you know, you're you're a nice slim person or you're a nice, you know, whatever. But when they start to say, oh, you got nice breasts or nice bottom or you know, ooh, I love them thick thighs, you know, stuff like that. It's like, wait a minute, play. Well, you don't know me. Don't come at me like that. So that's that. That is what I feel is disrespectful because now you're coming into 
a space where you feel as if you're familiar with me and you can actually verbalize that stuff to me and I'm just going to take it and, you know, get giddy. Okay. All right, so what can I do today? <laughs> What's up, Marcella? Um, all right, so Rakia says, I can take compliments as well. When I feel you are trying to see if it can go further, I cut you off mm -hmm. so everyone is clear. Oh, right. okay, so you don't mind people complimenting you. So how do you know, Rakia, I mean, and you two, like mm -hmm. when they're, I guess, I mean, well, well just from your take, when they're mm -hmm. trying to take it further. I mean, some people try to continue the conversation. Like I said, try to reel you in. Um, excuse me. Or you say that, that's where we're getting into disrespect. Right. That's Got when it. you start getting into disrespect right. when you're trying to go too far. Hey, Kiki. All right. So uh, our, uh, Natasha says, as long as it's respectful compliment, I'm fine with it. My boo is handsome and I'm sure other ladies think the same. Just keep it respectful. Right. Uh, Jocelyn says, does it cross the line from the opposite gender or does it go the same for both male and female? Mm. I mean, we're in what the year 2022. And so it comes every which way it comes from the same gender to opposite gender to all these other genders. It comes in any way. And my answer is, and my replies are you still the same. So. My my answers and my replies for me are still the same. And I also expect the same from my spouse. Hmm. All right. I thought Cedric said something. He may have did. Or maybe he took it down and rewrite it. Mm. Uh, all right. So, because I got a take on that. Cedric okay. says, I don't care what you say, who said it, how you said it. Lower your, your voice and talk to me nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric. All right. Uh, Hi, Shima. What up, Shima? All right, so uh, Rakia says, right, if you want, if you want, take the compliments to text message or can we meet for lunch when you know I'm married, then you are trying to see what, what I'll, I'll allow. allow exactly. Hard stuff. Exactly. But that's very true. Yeah. That, that uh, they're, they're going to see what, that's men and women, they're going to mm -hmm. see what you will allow. Mm -hmm. And see, and, and the, uh, honestly, the open door to the, the portal to, to that is how you respond to the compliment. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because, and it, and it may start off, you know, or, um, you look really nice today or, um, whatever. And then most people, oh, I like that suit. Oh, I like that dress. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, oh, thank and you. And then if you, you know, see men can be, men are vultures. And so if you respond nice, uh, well to that, uh, favorable in his mind, he may not, he may not jump right in mm -hmm. and come at you to see what you allow. He is going to do it again mm -hmm. and it's still going to be light. Mm -hmm. Then he's going to get a little, a, a, a little, uh, heavier, like right on the line of disrespect, but he'll do it in a joking way. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, girl, you got a little more, um, you, you showing a little meat up there, you know? If if you got you know what I mean your skin out and I got 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 he's laughing <laughs> but he's That's like an old man <laughs> uh, but whatever you know what I'm saying um, but he is uh, he's getting a little closer to see how you you will respond and if you respond in a way in his mind that you are enjoying the attention he don't just see it as you are enjoying the attention he sees this, he sees it as you are inviting him. Like it's okay, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so for me, uh, believe it or not, I am, I'm an introvert by nature, so I'm shy when it comes to compliments. Real quick, when, when I would say on the other side of that, with females, when a female is being overly complimentary, or uh -huh. they're complimenting guys, um, they're gonna see how far they can take it as well. You know, if and if a lot of times for men, if you don't do like what kids say, a hard stop or a hard pass, that means oh he likes it or he likes the the uh, attention that I'm giving him, and I like the attention he's giving me. So if he don't tell me to stop, but a hard stop and hard pass is different from pers from different personalities. I wouldn't say men and women, but a hard stop. That's, but for most men, a hard stop is not the same as a hard stop for most women. What's up, Jessica? Hey, Jessica. Because a hard stop for women is an attitude, you know. Meaning a hard, what we expect from our guy? No, no, no. Is your response to that guy mm -hmm. that's crossed the line is full attitude, you know, full 
uh, um, I'm married. Don't don't come at me like that. Whatever. You know what I mean, uh, and a lot of times it's, it's it's to the point where you almost have to come off that way in order for them to see I'm serious. Right. But then they take that and now it's, you be or you nasty this right, and, exactly. you da, 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 da. and it's like no I said I don't like that don't right. do that and, and you thought I was playing. But like for me, a hard stop for one any compliment towards me is a hard stop like it's not gonna go any further so i don't i don't i'm not going to get an attitude with you i'm not going to get mad at you i'm not going to fuss at you uh oh jesus i just either i'm going to avoid you or you know it's just always a passing thing like for me i'm again i i uh not in a uh arrogant way or anything like that but i've always gotten compliments mm -hmm. and i always get compliments even now um and I like getting compliments um, because I like knowing that uh, people like what they look, they see, like what they smell, like my fashion, or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. um, that I still um, um, turn heads mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, I like that. I mean, I'm just, you know, um, uh, being honest. And I don't mind you saying something. But my, my shyness... My shyness comes in because I'm not going to pursue this. So, and it's not just shyness, but it's also, I don't like small talk. Like, <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. Like, let's get to what we're trying to go. Like, if, if, when we were talking or whatever we were doing, um, and I was complimenting you, you complimenting me, I'm going to keep, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Getting at you. But if I'm not really trying to pursue that, Compliment keep going because it's it's gonna make me uncomfortable now because now we you know what you know so <laughs> um, when you compliment me because I get it it's crazy I get compliments a lot in the hospital while we're working in the hospital when I go to the hospital and I have to do it in passing I think women like men in uniform yeah one, that's true but I think also men like I mean women like men suited yes definitely like because I'm when I go to the hospital I'm and I'm suited, shirt, tie, you know, and I can wear a suit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get, I get compliments every now and then when I'm just in uh, urban Urban-wear. attire. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in a suit, I get compliments all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I am like Speedy Gonzalez. You <laughs> compliment me and I'll smile at you. And I may even compliment you back, but I'm moving. And that's true. We were at an uh, event at the football stadium. And I think we ran into one of the ER nurses. Okay. And she's like, what do you have on? Like, what is what is this? And he just had on regular clothes. And she's like, oh, my God. I feel like like I've seen you naked. Like, I'm not supposed to be seeing you like this. Like, <laughs> what is happening? What is going on? Because he's always dressed to the T. And she's like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to respond to this. I don't know how to take yeah. this. <laughs> and so I, you know, again, that's just for me. So my heart stop is not Marquita saying stop her from coming at you. That's that's not my hard stop. Mm -mm. Uh, I just because I don't I don't think I need to say something to you. You know, yeah, you better time. stop like, complimenting me. You know what I mean? You better stop flirting with me. No, you don't say nothing. Well, I don't, no, that's stupid. What, what you supposed to say? Look, I appreciate your flattery, but you can you can stop with all but, but, but that because it's making me uncomfortable. But that would mean and it's crossing the line in my opinion. <laughs> Point blank, period. <laughs> now, if my wife has to come in and say something to you, it's gonna be different but that I would, ain't talking but that would mean that I'd have to assume because girls are different I'd have to assume that she's trying to get at me girls are often cunning and yeah. um, they 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 do it with such uh, they do it with enough ambiguity that you can't say I'm flirting with you that makes they sense? do it with their eyes no even if, if, even if they're talking you can't say I'm trying to get at you I just said you I just like well whatever you know what I mean? Well, I, I, I love a man in a suit. They may say that. Mm -hmm. or, uh, uh, or, them, or those eyebrows are, 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 are dreamy. You know what I mean? Don't go, don't, don't go. But they said, they said enough to where, like. Okay, thank you. But no, I certain talking. I, mean, I guess I'm a female. If I say, if somebody said, oh, I love a man in a suit. They saying, you playing. <laughs> Point blank, period. Now, they said, oh, that's a nice suit. That looks nice. That's exactly what they mean. So Jocelyn said, don't sugarcoat it. Tell them straight you doing too much. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and Tasha said, yeah, we do. All right, so, okay, let's go back up. Hey, cousin Jay. Uh, what up, hey, Jay? Um, uh, what's up with Cor Cornelius? Rakia says, we are church people, and I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm. We may still have to deal with the people, but I can't not speak or be rude. But she said, I can't. I can't not speak or be rude. God bless you. Because yeah. it's church folk. God bless you. Right, Jocelyn you says, me. you have to come off rude because dudes these days don't care if you married or not. They still going to try to I know. You. you say, I'm married. They say, what that mean to me? What? Yeah. What? Sarah what? says, but we ain't arrogant or nothing, Rose Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but that's oh, my... that's I see, and... And, and honestly, I compliment people all the time too. Mm -hmm. Same here. Um, it just makes people feel good, right? And I compliment, I compliment to to make you feel good, smile, or whatever. And now, mm -hmm. and I may, and then I'm detailed. Like I may say, uh, really, I I I, I thought uh, a, a lady at um at the hospital might may have thought I was gay uh, because she was talking to me, and I knew she was coming. I knew she was coming. And so I was thinking as I, she was making her way to come at me. Mm. Um, she was a uh, she was an older lady than I am. She's mm. probably in her late forties or early fifties, and I needed to find a way out the conversation. Mm. And so she was asked, "I've never seen you," and da 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 da. And so I said, "Oh, your 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 nails are really nice." And so some people are like, "He noticed my nails. He gay." <laughs> <laughs> If I didn't say you pretty or whatever, mm. I said, oh, oh, your nails are, yeah, I, I really like your nails. Your nails are nice. And when she looked down at her nails, I said, oh, okay, thank you. I was moving. <laughs> uh, and so that was, I was, and I'm fine, trying to find a way to, uh, to, to, uh, to exit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I compliment people all the time because, because often it's just, I actually like what, what I saw. Mm. Oh, you, oh, you look nice. Or I may come, I may walk past somebody and be like, what was that? You know, what are you wearing? That smells nice. Oh, I'm wearing something so-and-so. And that's it. Because mm -hmm. it actually may be something I want to go pick up mm -hmm. for Marquita or for myself. Mm -hmm. um, so even if a person is attractive or they are fine, I mean, oh my gosh, they're fine. And 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 I give a compliment to them. It's, that doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything beyond the compliment. What Tasha said. Their favorite line is, I can be your friend. Joker, we ain't in middle school. Exactly. <laughs> I like what Jocelyn said. She said, I like your nails. I'm going to try that on the next dude who is doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm like, what? Because I think it threw her off <laughs> when, I, when I said that. Because, uh, I mean, she probably, you know, this, this type of woman, she probably don't have guys Saying I like your nails, mm -hmm. um, so I think you kind of threw off. Um, you probably did. Yeah, but it was it was my way to. Answer. Is this a woman that compliments you? Hmm? Is this a woman that often com or compliments you when she sees you? She's new. Okay. Um. Yeah, and so um, I don't give her too much. You know, I I I move and zip. Mm -hmm. uh, but when she had the opportunity, because I had to come to her station, um, that was her opportunity to talk and some of them are bold because some of them won't really talk to you unless you're by yourself mm -hmm. but this woman she i was at that station who are you i don't i've not i've not seen you <laughs> let it lie let it yeah, lie you, speak you, your truth you, you look really nice in that suit and blah blah blah, blah. and it was just the, like you say the tone i knew she was coming exactly and i mean and she's a nice um nice looking woman um she's built here and there but I'm like, girl. But don't compliment this chick no more. But them nails was fire. Nails, toenails, <laughs> hair fire. Well, see, all right. No so way. I want y'all to see this. So their end is the cross line. So now I say that she's 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 built. She's got body. Now now. I mean, you notice a little more than her damn nails. <laughs> a key key key. Girl, I will push you off this stool. <laughs> Do it online. And go spanky. <laughs> Get, keep staying character. Hair follicles. What? That's right. That's what I said. No, 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 no. So, all right. Now let's 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 get to this because now you done showed your your true mint colors. You got dog all white. What a why? Why you? So that's what I wanted to ask. Her. So that that's what I wanted to get to. So that's why I asked her earlier. Like, so you don't you don't mind 
<laughs> when uh, so am I required to tell you all the people that that have complimented me? And it's it's so it's so it's gray area. Not gray area. It's so two faced. It's it's oh. it's it's so wishy washy because if I actually say oh oh she was nice. Boy, they coming in, baby. <laughs> so if I actually say that she looked nice, I mean, for one, now, look now, just because I see a a woman that's bodied mm -hmm. or she's pretty or whatever the case may be, doesn't, doesn't mean anything. I mean, to me, you know what I mean? And because right. I see what everybody else sees. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see a guy too, like, you know, oh, he's really nice mm -hmm. um, uh, looking or he's fine or whatever y'all say. And you know, a lot of women, we do that. Well, if we with you and we see somebody's body, we we'll be like, oh my God, you see her booty? We do that because we know y'all going to look. Like yeah, we know about, I'm talking about these guys now. So we're going to say something about it. We're going to point it out. So now that you don't point out that this lady is body, don't compliment her no more. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was looking for the exit. I mean, I, but, now here's the thing. I was looking for the exit because I was tempted or whatever, you know, because body, everybody thing mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily pull on me at all. I, honestly, I, 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 whatever. So yeah, that doesn't mean anything to me. And see, it may often be the, the guys that, I mean, the, the, the ladies that everybody, uh, go at, all the guys go at that doesn't, that doesn't, um, do nothing for me. You know what yeah. I mean? And then sometimes that could be why they are attracted to a guy like that mm -hmm. that's not paying them any attention. Um, yeah. Because they're not paying them any attention. And right. they are not paying them, and they're not attracted to them because they're not paying them attention. They're attracted to them because they want that guy to pay them attention. And exactly. they may give you some attention so that you can start paying them attention, and then they drop you again in the bucket with everybody else. Okay, good. I know he ain't crazy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I know he saw me, mm -hmm. uh, type of thing. And, All right, not just, and not just my nails. You said it. It was at your time. Anyway, hmm. uh, so what's the problem, though? What's, what's, what's the problem? Hmm, let's see what they say. Not yeah. Tasha, don't go looking for that lady. I ain't gonna look for a Tasha. Put that back. Mm -hmm. Don't give too much. Oh, Lord. Don't and that's from a man. Huh? And that was from a man. He wasn't talking to me. <laughs> he ain't talking to you. He wasn't talking to me. He said, pull that back. Don't give too much. Cedric, clarify who you were speaking to. It don't matter you talking to me. It don't matter none of y'all talking oh, to me. Oh, my honestly. God. It don't matter what none Call of y'all are saying. Call it out at all. Call it out at all. All right, so Jessica says, what you, what you doing looking for Pastor Jay? I wasn't looking. <laughs> don't get hurt. Tasha, take him, take him lunch tomorrow so you can see this woman. <laughs> Cedric says, I have to be rude often because sister babies be liking them some big dudes. They said thick as in. And I don't play nice and Jasmine is crazy. <laughs> okay. Joshua says, use your words carefully, Pastor Jay. Oh, my goodness. See, this is the problem. That's right. Squat, this is what we need to talk squat. about. That's not. <laughs> we need to talk about what's wrong with y'all. Okay, look at that. All right. Uh, Seriously, right. Everybody see Jasmine. Ain't nobody blind. And Jasmine right. is bodied. All right? Right. Let's see, Jessica, I got bail money. <laughs> All right, Jessica. On deck. All right, so we see. But you see how it's, uh, what, what am I, what am I, what's the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, there's a word anyway, but it's one sided. Mm. It's one sided because it? yeah, how? Because women see whatever they like, and he fine and carrying on. Because what women would like to us to think, well, when I'm with somebody, I don't see other guys. I don't see how fine he is. Or, that's a lie. That's what they want you to think, and that's what they'll say. Well, I mean, I'm with you. I don't. I don't see no other guy. I don't even. I, don't, I ain't look at him. Mm, girl, please. You see them. You know what attracts you. Just like you see the car going by. And that's oh, that car caught my attention. Just like you see that dress. Oh, that dress caught my attention. You see that dude. I, I started to say I don't know what y'all would catch. I don't know his thighs uh, uh, or uh, I don't know what it is. Chest, dreads, face, eyebrows, whatever it is. <laughs> you see it. So, but they don't. But they. They act like they don't. Oh, I'm with somebody. I'm, I'm really with somebody. Mm -hmm. I don't see lies. Mm -hmm. But then when a guy like me says, oh, yeah. You know. Says what? Oh, yeah. I see. You said in that tone, yeah. I see. I see. Mm. Yep, I see. And like Now Rakia there's said, a problem. See what Rakia says? 
We what? sure do see them. We ain't gonna do nothing. And I ain't either. We won't even compliment their nails. Lies. Truth. All right. Hoochie, you daddy, hoochie daddy shorts is what catch our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. She about right? Thighs. right? No, I don't. Mm -mm. Lies. Truth. That's what catch your eyes. Face, teeth, and build. Oh, okay. I this, like this, slim. This, slim. This, this, this list got, got long quick. It's your list. No, don't see. See how you be trying to see. Don't do that. It's see, you. That's, see, that's that. It's him. Don't, 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 don't try to. See, this is a hard stop. <laughs> don't try you to compliment. Don't do that to me. You better try, try that on them. Don't try to compliment me. Outside that street. Let's go to the rest of it. So what else? What else catches your eye? Face, teeth, smile, build, slim. What else? Complexion. Complexion. What's the rest of it? Hair. Beard. Facial hair? Yeah, yeah, that's all that face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see it all the time? I see faces all the time. What do you do with it? Faces? Whatever catches your eye. Nothing. Nothing at all? Mm -hmm. Never a compliment? I won't say that. Well, then I, I just say, oh, I like that shirt. Oh, I like that tie. Oh, for you to, for you to talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> So what's 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 that? No, that's the thing. No, no, I don't. I I just I don't. I won't say nothing. I see it. Keep going. So you don't say anything at all. I think a lot of time what women say, like I don't see. I well, I'm with you. I don't see them. Whatever, because we know that. Like how y'all guys say, we're visual creatures and all that. For us, it's almost as if it's like a what's the thing? It's forbidden because we're gonna look and get enticed, and we don't need all that drama. And we don't right. want all that. All right, so good. Now you're telling the story. Because what you, what I just heard you say was, me and we can look and we visual. Oh, we wait see, a minute. Wait, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> we see stuff all the time. It's okay. Whatever. But you, from what I'm just hearing you say, that when mm -hmm. y'all see something, you get enticed. <laughs> right? If we do, yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's, that's a total different. I see, I see. Yeah, okay, I see. There's no enticement. But according to you, when y'all see stuff, you get enticed. We can get enticed, and sometimes we can get entranced, like I did with you. I don't, wasn't supposed to see you. Don't keep putting this about me. You know, I'm you telling the me. truth. I wasn't supposed I'm to see about, you. These other folks after we done been married. What well, no, down. I would have had that happen. See what I'm saying? I see now it that. goes dark. And that's my truth. <laughs> and that's my truth. Now it goes dark, and she becomes a nun. I now it goes nun. dark. All right, so what happens when you see these people? So you, so what? When, no, when, Johnny, it almost, it extreme. sounds like you saying, I'm not going to the I'm going to what you said. I ain't no it almost, it almost says to me that you try not to look because you will get enticed and entranced with guys that are attractive to you. I think, yeah, I think that is the truth. And I think that's the truth for a lot of women. We ain't trying to look and be bothered. We ain't trying to get into all that. Because for even though guys say, oh, women, men are visual, men are visual. I think so that is to say, what's, up, well. what's up, Letitia? Hey, so that, that is to say that if, a, if, if you look and a guy gets upset with you looking, he has right to get upset with you looking. Because according to what you're saying, when y'all look, you get enticed and you get drawn in. And if he oh. say, you know, hey, he get all upset with, with you looking, and you always got getting mad about about nothing. I just da 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 da. It wasn't even, and we thought you you belittled it, throw it all off. But according to what you're saying, he really has right to get upset because if you took a moment to look, then you have you are uh, playing with the waters of enticement and entrancement. If we look and see something that we are actually attracted to and that we like, that, in my opinion, that can happen. Which is why we avoid it at all costs. In my opinion, I think we avoid it. I'm not saying that happens every time. We can, we, a lot of times, we just being nice. <laughs> exactly. These hoes ain't loyal. That's what you're saying? First of all, Cedric. Yeah, you right. Them, them hoes ain't loyal. Ain't gonna mm -hmm. say a word looking keeps. Hey, Crystal. Keep stepping, I guess. Keep keep stepping. Okay, that's what Rakia said. Ain't gonna say a word. Look and keep stepping. Mm -hmm. But that's now we know that one that glance. That's that's enough. That's oh, keep strolling. Okay, but well, mm -hmm. now we know that Ooh. it's almost that's Marcella talking about and and do she, she like them thighs? <laughs> <laughs> but now we know, according to you, uh, ladies, uh, that 
it's almost like you're scared of yourself. So mm-hmm. you have to keep moving. That that doesn't give us much solace. Okay, Jocelyn says, Lady M, it's the holes at the hospital. Let me hush. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Sarah says, she, she tried it. I'm popping up at the next open house and showing. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what up? What up, Nicole? I haven't had no clients like that. Chill out. Chill out, Sarah. Um, all right. Uh, you Thank you. At... Thank you, Tish. She believed my truth. Thank you, girl. Whatever. <laughs> all right. So, Jocelyn says, you look at body women and we look at body uh, men. All right, Beth. So, let's take with what Jocelyn just said. Okay. According to what we just said. Okay. Jocelyn says that we look at bodied women mm-hmm. and you women look at body men. Fine. I told you, I look at, if I see a body woman... One, I'm looking for the exit because I don't want to get into this. There's, there's, there's nothing there, and I just noticed, uh, or just saw. I mean, just I saw whatever. So you're trying to avoid anything. Just I don't know. I just need. I don't even need this right now. I don't. I, I don't even want any type of nothing to 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 come from this. I don't want her to keep bothering me. And that's the same way. No, no, no. There's nothing there from me. I don't I ain't want her. To, there from wait, us. let me finish. I don't want her to keep bothering me. Now, according to what you said, you see body men. Keep bothering you. Mean, what you mean? She does on a regular. Period. The first time. All right, fine. Okay. I see that you may uh, uh, may want to come at me. I don't want you to bother me. Period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. According to, and I saw that she was bodied or whatever. And still, whatever, nothing. According to what? What's up? We talking about this specific or we talking about in general? In general. Okay, let's speak in general. Let's be truthful. What do you? Because if you see somebody bodied, and you are attracted to that, or you think that that's attractive, what's it's it, it's two different responses. Oh, that's nice. That's she's attractive, and that's nice. Blah blah blah. Keep it going. Or I'm attracted to them. Let me avoid this altogether. Nope. So it could be. I think for men, it could be. She could be fine and sexy or whatever, and it's just that. And it could be the same way for women. That's not what you said though. If we're attracted wait, wait, listen, let me finish. to somebody. Let me finish out where, finish, I, where I was finish, going. Finish. She can be uh, body, whatever. And she can be sexy or whatever. And be like, oh, dang. You know, you, you even if a guy goes that far. Mm-hmm. But it's it's the... Mm-hmm. And it's Excuse me. 45 of them else that's going to come up past this way. And it's mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. But according to what you just shared, if you guys see a body man, it's enticement or... Um, entrancement. Not now, on to every me, occasion. but to me, that's what you said. But to me, that is not on every day and occasion. Listen, to me, that goes to when they say, like, when a woman cheats and a man cheats. So, um, a man can cheat, and it's just for the physical act, the sport of it. Mm-hmm. Say, when a woman cheat, and a man bounces back. Sometimes, not all the time, because that booty will keep them coming back, but keep continuing. But it's a, it's it's for the sport of it. It don't matter. It happened multiple times. That's continue. But, but but when a woman cheats, it's not just for the sport of it, because she can actually do without the sport. But it's for the sport of it because she is really she's entranced. I don't think that's every time. But go ahead. For a lot of women, yes. I say I would say that's the you depiction. Keep denying everything. I ain't denying. The, the, the I am not or defending denying. everything. I'm Let saying. me know if I'm denying or defending y'all, because I'm not. <laughs> well, that's what I'm getting. So I mean, so what, what I said, I said it to say that now I can believe that better mm-hmm. uh, when you're saying that a woman get in trance. If she likes what she sees, she gets enticed. Not and maybe it's, it, maybe if it's for the moment and, and in 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 his trance uh, for, for the moment. And it makes me think that that may be truth because when a woman cheats, if she did, crosses that line to uh, cheat, uh, and she's not a whole, when well, she give everybody a body, but if she crosses that line, she's in there. Like, she's... Locked in? Yeah, she's mm. emotionally gone from this other guy. Um, mentally gone, and she's there. Here, he's it's just the sport. I don't think that's the whole truth. I mean, I don't, I don't, well, I don't think that's how it is all at always. Like, I mean, for instance, you say, we can he, take he, this cheat. say, ain't no backpedaling, Reverend Mother. Ain't no backpedaling. Ain't no backpedaling. Flat-footed. So, anyway. Right, let your girls, let, 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 let your girls help you, perhaps. Okay. Letitia well, says, for, for me, I can look and say someone is attractive, but not necessarily am I attracted to them. I know I have the finest man by my side. There we go, all this. 
but I can give credit and not be enticed. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, cool. Johnson says, ain't nothing wrong with looking glance and keep moving. Mm -hmm. uh, don't hold back, Pastor Jay. We want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to switch her words around. I ain't switching nobody's words around. All right, Rakia says, I took what she was trying to say as women can see a good looking man, but won't engage because it won't be worth what could come from the encounter. Exactly. It only won't be worth what could come from the encounter if something would come from the encounter. We don't know if something would come from the encounter. But so if let's just avoid it all together. But, but I know there's nothing going to come from this. How would you know that? Because I'm not enticed. I'm not, you know, I'm, it's just. She, but this lady don't know that. That's why this lady will continue to compliment and but say that, stuff. There you go again. She don't know what's going to happen. Again. It's coming from the lady. And it can come from the men as well. But that's not what we're saying. We're saying now with you all, it's almost like if you uh, uh, like what's that? What's that movie? Uh, Incredibles two, where they had those glasses on, mm -hmm. and if you looked into the uh, in their eyes, mm -hmm. and you got if you got put the glasses on, Screen. then, then mm -hmm. you you got what is it? Mm -hmm. You got entranced. Yeah. So what what I'm what I'm trying to figure out. Let me not uh, uh, push this on y'all. Let me. I'm trying to figure out mm -hmm. what it's what it sounds like you're saying is that. If you give this guy that you are that you find attractive, attractive, and you find bodied, mm -hmm. um, if you give him your attention, mm -hmm. then it could cause that trance. I think yes. What I'm saying is, it it's not even it could cause that trance because I think it's gonna take a little bit more than that to for me to or for us to actually become in trance, but to even open up. Pandora's box to flirting and all of that. We just avoid it. That's why we can look and glance and keep going and not get to the point where if like if there's somebody I know I'm attracted to, I'm not even gonna allow that the compliments and all that stuff just stop. So do you okay, cool. So do you Because uh, that could be dangerous. So do you share that? Would you share that with me? Yeah. Yeah, what? I would share that with you. Share what with me? If I'm a, if there's somebody that I'm attracted to, and I and they've always given me compliments or something like that, I would share that. And how would that conversation go? When it happens, I'll let you know. <laughs> what you getting the attitude? <laughs> mm -mm. I'm saying if if it, so that that's never happened. That hasn't happened to me as of yet. Thank you, Jesus. I don't believe that. All right, let's keep going. I'm lying. Mm. Okay. Him don't believe me. Hard stop. Keep That's your neck right. straight. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we want to engage to, to, to even see. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, exactly. We don't put ourselves in situations mm -hmm. way more than looks. Exactly. Hard stop. Pastor Jay, has it happening? Has it happened to you? Has what happened to me? What are you asking me, Jocelyn? Has what happened to me? Has anybody has have you been ever been attracted to anyone, and you had you had to I guess how did that how did that conversation go with you? You being attracted to that person, and that person complimenting you or being attracted to you as well. Yes, it has. And story time. Not story time. Oh, and that. but see, I actually said something. He did. I was, I was, I was, I uh, was, oh my gosh, I was listening to something or um, reading something, whatever. Um, and I was just thinking about, I, I don't know if I was in conversation with somebody, uh, a couple or whatever, but I was thinking this uh, lately that uh, men, oh, I was watching um, this, this show I'm, I'm watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy, they were about to get mm -hmm. married and they had a bachelor party and a uh, bachelorette party. The guy eventually came and he told his uh, fiance, which he was marrying her in the next, I mean, in, in a day or so. Mm. Matter of fact, matter of fact, it was right after they got married. He told her what happened at the bachelor party, and he told her, you know, what what, what she did. What he oh, did. What, I mean, what he did. She did more. He went to the bachelor party. See, there is a chain. He went to the bachelor party. He was and, not watching no P Valley. No, he went to the bachelor party. It's actually called Succession. But he went to the bachelor party, and um, you know he was just—he just got one of the little. Uh, uh, Don't believe it. Uh, he got one of the girls there, and and she did him a favor. 
and he called her. It's like, hey, what are our boundaries here? And Afterwards? No, before he did anything. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, he's at the club. Hey, what are our boundaries here? And she's like, we're grown. We're both grown. You know, da, da, da. pretty much go ahead. And I don't get it. What changes when you when we when we are at the that's their the that's I their thing whatever that. that's their thing and so he he indulged in her doing him a favor. Now his fiance turned wife, she was having a whole affair. She was kind of you know pulling back, <coughs> not wanting to sleep with the guy, but she had been with this guy before, and they were actually in a a I say relationship. It wasn't a full fledged just my boyfriend on the side, mm -hmm. but they had connected. Mm -hmm. He didn't uh, the, the 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 fiance at the bachelor party. He didn't know this woman and probably never would see this woman again. But she had somebody she was connected to, and they had been in a relationship years before. But they were connected and trying to stop the you know the sidebar relationship they had. Um, on her bachelorette thing, she was with him, and they slept together and everything else. After they got married, he told her. What he did. She never said anything to him about what she did. That's what I um, see as commonplace hypocrite. when it comes to women and men. That a woman will tear, uh, t take it to the grave. And perhaps she may think, well, okay, I can handle what he says to me. But he'll never be able to handle what I say to him. Um, and I'm damaged goods um a whore and he will whatever for a and, lot of women that is they, that's the truth though. and mm -hmm. so she won't say what what happened mm -hmm. and i think that's like you said that's 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 hypocritical now again in my situation typically the case mm -hmm. yeah in my situation um what jocelyn asked me yes that happened and i said something um okay that's them every woman not the same yes <laughs> oh everybody <laughs> defending now <laughs> Everybody defending now. So, so that's what I have the issue at when she, you know, her not saying anything to him, but he's saying he told her everything. If things gonna be fair, put it all out there. But my, the but most other, women are like that. Most yeah, most true. most women are not going to say anything. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe maybe she's belittled it, and like, well, I want nothing. You need me to start no trouble or. Um, he, you know, I'm never going to say whatever. She will gather all the information. Maybe think about a couple. She will gather all the information. Mm -hmm. I mean, and gather all the information and have these uh, 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 tabs on him there, tabs on him mm -hmm. here. Got this code for this, da da da. And she will gather all the information and maybe doing the exact same stuff. And when the, uh, it hits the fan and she's ready to show him how she's caught him in this and that. And she's doing the very same stuff, but she'll never see it. Mm. What is that about? Probably what you said. For fear that this will end us because he will see me as damaged goods. Um, and then also... <laughs> <laughs> Letitia says, so what happens? We can have a better understanding. <laughs> Touch your nose. <laughs> ah! Which y'all know, I don't mind being transparent, but go ahead. Oh, she's talking about with you. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened? <laughs> what show is this passage? It's it's called Succession, mm -hmm. and on it's on HBO Max. Okay. But it's um, <laughs> that's not the main idea of it. It's just I pay attention to every little thing. But go ahead. What was I saying? I got told off. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Hold talking on. Talking about women, uh, why they do or don't share. That information yeah and so, this all come from our topic of compliments compliments going too far in essence she say when i text <laughs> that means i'm all ears <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. okay women um like i said they don't share because of fear that you know it's going to end whatever we have going on or for fear of how will he see me how will he view me knowing this about me and then also, sometimes because they want to continue what they're doing. So why would I mess up when I got cake and ice cream? But, but, but I mean, what makes you think that the guy doesn't have to contend with all the information too? Well, how is she going to see me? Um, 
and mm. she's not, you know, whatever negative, 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 yeah. negative. He but will. all too often, it's, he, well, I mean, some guys will never say nothing, mm -hmm. um, uh, but history just has shown us that, that guys will, girls will not. Correct. And guys will go to the extreme in their response. It's the guys can go to the extreme in their response versus uh, a woman's response. Kavina, what's up? Hi, Kavina. Mm -hmm. Um... So, uh, Johnson says, you didn't fully answer our question, though, left out loud, you're not telling all of it. Mm -hmm. You asked me a question. You <laughs> asked me, has the same um, thing happened to me? And uh, they said story time. Ah! Have, have, <laughs> I, have I, what was it? Been attracted mm -hmm. to someone and... Um, told me. And told you, yeah. Mm -hmm. I answered your question fully. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, anyway, so compliments can go too far, but the yeah. whole validation thing. Yeah. Um, I there 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 are some people who say oh, what was said that people who have to get their validation on the outside yeah. cannot understand people who get their validation from the inside. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's mm -hmm. I, I think what she said. Yeah, you was waiting on me to elaborate. And until she does... I did a lot of No, you didn't. You just said no. No, I said what I said, and then you said, I don't believe it. What did you say? I said it hasn't happened to me. Right, yet. same thing. That ain't the same thing. That's not the same thing? No. We want to know... No, no, no. You need to elaborate on... So until you can match my energy, I ain't matching yours. Oh, my God. You, are you with that now? Yeah. Energy? Okay. <laughs> now, how would the conversation go? Part two. <laughs> Listen, you can do Kevin like that. So how whatever the conversation you, go? Let yeah, whatever you're trying know. to get out of Kevin. Uh -uh. But that ain't, that ain't gonna work with me. How will that go? How what go? How did the conversation go? That's what she really want to say. So, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> being Ooh. validated, a, a person, you, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. being validated ah. outside or in, mm -hmm. um, if you if you like being validated outside, it's probably never going to change, and yeah, it's not because the the the, 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 the uh, quote said that they'll never understand persons who get their validation from inside, because you may get validated inside, but you still like outside outside compliments. And that's deeper than just compliments. Right. Because here's the thing: they, the people may try to ideal. It's probably somebody single that don't know, um, but uh, say, okay, well, if you get all the validation inside or compliments from your partner in, inside your relationship, you won't need it. After a while, the compliments from the inside can be taken from for granted. Right. And it's like, you're just saying it because you're with me. Or you're right. just saying it because, you know, you think I need to hear it. Or you're just saying it because you're supposed to say it. That's so it doesn't, it doesn't carry the same weight after a while sometimes, especially your maturity level. It just right. don't carry the same. That's what I was going to say. That's a personal thing. That's a personal maturity level thing because... It, the only reason why, in my opinion, it won't carry the same weight is because you're still looking for outside validation. You need or, something new, something fresh. Exactly. So it's like, it doesn't mean the same. Like, you, you tell me this all the time. And then, and then uh, if, if, it's a, if it's a guy needing validation from outside, mm -hmm. and, and, he's, and he goes in and seeks it, and of course... It's a slippery slope. The compliments, like you say, can go too far, and then it's flirting, and then things, other things can happen. Mm -hmm. And if she's at the house, like I compliment him all the time. Mm -hmm. I compliment him about everything. I'm always telling him how nice he looks, and this and another, and block. And um, <laughs> and it means she's it confused mm -hmm. because, like, I tell him this all the time, but he's has he has taken it for granted mm -hmm. because it's like. He doesn't believe it anymore mm -hmm. because it's from coming you. from you. Right. You don't believe it coming from you. It's like sometimes your kids can be like, you know, you can be like, I'm so proud of you and you did such a good job. And they may not believe it because it's coming from you. It's like you're just trying to, you're just supposed to say it. You're supposed right. to say that. And so, but when um, that person told me, you know. It really meant something. It meant something. It had some weight to it. Yeah. And, and that that is. Disrespectful and rude. It is, but it is a part of relationships. Yeah, it happens. And like I said, that person it seriously can definitely to do some happen. 
some inner searching mm -hmm. and figure out what is it about me that has to have outside validation in order for me to feel worth. And you know, on and then on the other side, you you could not be receiving the compliments from your person mm -hmm. any longer because it's been too much other negative stuff. Mm -hmm. And so the negative, we fighting mm -hmm. and we fussing and we carrying on and then you compliment me. It's like, I can't hear the compliment right. over all the other negative stuff because, and then like that's story time mm -hmm. there where um, um, you needed to go and sought to go and get and to feel validated from outside. It is. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah, that's so, a story time. Mm -hmm. um, that can happen, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and and sometimes the outside in your mind feels much better um, or, or is needed when it's not, but you can or be in that. The outside is real. That, that's the real truth, so to speak. That's, that's coming from a real place because they, ha they don't be with me all the time. They're not supposed to tell me this is what they're actually really truly seeing from me versus or oh, you see me all the time or oh, you just mama or oh, you just dad or oh, you just you know you you just my man what's up tabitha that's belittling Hi, when, tabitha. when the truth is opposite because the outside is fake they don't know you right right it's surface right but this person who sees you bodied mm -hmm. and are with you but know your attitude is horrible you're mean as hell you are spoiled and everything negative you, that body means nothing to them anymore right. because you're that's 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 surface. Mm -hmm. But this man on the outside, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. and 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 you soak it up, and your actual person is like, you just don't know. You don't know, man. Right. And looking at you like, really, like that's 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 you 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 flying high on that, and so the the outside is really very surface, um, and. Um, it's unreal mm -hmm. because they don't know you. Right. You know what I mean? They just see you got a good haircut. You got a nice haircut this time. When they, they see, see you the surface. Mm -hmm. and bought a new dress and got your lip gloss on or whatever, and boom. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so it's, but like we talked about last week, if you're vulnerable, if uh, if you're in a vulnerable state, then that outside could be Dangerous. very real for you. Mm -hmm. um, if you are weak and not mature, that outside can be enticing and um, and a pull um, on you. Mm -hmm. And if you're still, uh, if you're still not just seeking outside validation, but if you are a person who seeks attention, mm -hmm. like, I mean, here's um, um, somewhat mm -hmm. of, it's not a story time, but this is uh, my experience where probably you're the same way. And many of you all are, are the same way too, because most of you all are good looking people. But when you are, before getting married and in a committed relationship, when you are used to um, people at you all the time, mm -hmm. and you're used to people, you know, complimenting you and coming at you all the time, you're used to it. Mm -hmm. And so, even though you're in a committed relationship, not only are you used to it, but you start moving, moving for it, like. When you just like a lot of people, when when like when you when I, just like people do it now, when I, when she put her makeup on, she's like, okay, yeah, this is Instagram, you know, worthy. Mm -hmm. Or uh, when she uh, when he does this, oh yeah, this is you know how to how that that uh that meme or whatever it is that that audio where um, when the sun, oh I'm mm -hmm. gonna take a picture. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. What it, what it, what it say? I I don't know what to say, but I know. What you're yeah, doing. when that sun hit me like yeah. that, I, well, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take a picture, mm -hmm. and so you start doing it for it, mm -hmm. and so you when you become used to it all the time, um, it's like anything else. If you do a good job in, at at your work, <laughs> and you're used to people complimenting you all the time, mm -hmm. you're doing it to make you know to, to keep it coming, to keep yeah. the compliments coming, because it builds you up. It, it's like it, it hypes you up. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's not all the time that, uh, so sometimes you can be so used to it that you are seeking for it. Mm -hmm. And it may have no bearing on the person that you're with. It just mm -hmm. may be a, a habit that you have yeah. that can be dangerous to your relationship, but it's a habit that you have. Right, right. And it, uh, habits are, they're healthy to the, um, until they're not. There's a limit with that. <laughs> There's a limit. 
to to your habits. Honest, there is. That's that's a boundary line. What up, Crystal? That's there. Hey, Crystal. There's a boundary line. Definitely. Yeah. All right, y'all. It's been great. It's been a wonderful conversation. Oh, now you want to stop this one, huh? No, I'm trying to do better with that. But I ain't had nothing else to say. It has been fun, though. It's been great. It's been a pretty good topic. We still want to hear your story time. We want to hear yours. Which one's mine? Yeah, you don't have any. Like, none of them do either. None of them do either. (laughs) (laughs) Good night. (laughs) We obviously need to stop this conversation. It's going left. Right? Is it? Is it going left? Mm. Oh. We're good. (laughs) (laughs) Next time I need y'all thoughts on the post the dude made to his girl. What post? Send it to me, girl. Josh said hard stop at the the hospital. hospital. Hard stop at the hospital. What post? Real quick. Come on, quick, quick. What 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 post you talking about? Hard stop at the hospital. It's always a hard stop. It may not be attitude and rudeness and all that, but yeah, you don't have to do yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's a hard. It's, but when it's, you have to, you have. It's to. it's a hard stop. It's a smile. It's a uh, thank you. It's a walk away. Mm-hmm. I literally take the steps, ways. stairs, to avoid getting elevators. That she wasn't the most beautiful or smart. Oh, uh, oh, I haven't seen that. Kevin, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin on stage. Oh, he, oh. Well, that's why I saw it. Well, send it to me, child. So we'll look at that. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that really, that's a whole mess. It's, it's, it's a whole manipulative, um, abusive, abusive mess. And he, he shared it. And he's straight, um, he's destroying uh, this woman. Now, I came on stage, he shared it? No, he did a, a, a reel about it. Where he moved, his, he read it, moved his head, and read the rest oh, of it. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like this. This is his. This not. This is. These are not his thoughts. Are his words. No, 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 no. Okay, no. That, I'm like that. Don't sound like him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, man. We love y'all. Okay. Yes, we do. Great conversation. We'll see y'all next week.